Welcome to the next eAcademy episode. As you know, before designing the alarm system, each installer should carry out an analysis of all possible threats and individual needs of the investor of the protected premises. Even more so for a situation in which two owners of a semi-detached or duplex house may perceive the security of their part of the building completely differently. Hence, it is worth discussing the division of the alarm system structure into several partitions as early at the stage of preliminary talks with the investor. The advantages and benefits of dividing the premises into external and peripheral partitions should be clarified. It is also advisable to inform the investor that a well-designed alarm system, which may contain elements of home automation must not be too troublesome for users of the protected building. On the contrary, such a system should improve the comfort and security of their everyday life. That's why we want to present today an interesting support tool for implementation of the preliminary design of alarm system, which of course has been previously discussed with the investor. The ConFX Intruder Alarm System Configurator is a program that simplifies the work of installers, designers and sales personnel. It has been designed to arrange devices in alarm systems on site plans, calculate the current balance of the devices used, estimate the cost of the alarm system, generate alarm system quotations, print the quotations. We will explain how to design an alarm system based on the Integra Alarm Control Panel by using the CONFX program. We will show you how to properly arrange devices so that they can effectively protect the premises. In the case we are discussing, it will be a detached single-family house. What do we need to do this? A PC computer with a Windows operating system and internet access, the CONFX program, a facility blueprint with a floor plan of a model single family home. Important note, to install CONFX on your computer, you must first download its installation file. After locating the download file, which is most often located in the downloads folder, start the installation of the CONFX program. After the installation has completed, run the program. First click OK in the window containing the welcoming message. Select the New Design of an Alarm System option. In the window that will open, enter the name of your design. Next, add the drawing or the so-called facility blueprint of the premises for which the alarm system is to be designed. The configurator supports three graphics file extensions including BMP, JPG and PNG. In our case, the drawing is a floor plan of a detached single-family home. Click on the OK button to confirm the entered data. First give a name to the floor. Click on the appropriate button. In the window that will appear, select the name suggested by the program and enter your own. In this case the name will be Ground Floor. Now you can proceed to create the plan of your alarm system. Put on the drawing, in turn, selected products from the device menu located at the bottom of the screen. The first device will be the alarm control panel which, in this case, is Integra 64. The plan location of the control panel will be shown on the drawing, and its name along with the information on the number of panels in the system on the list in the side menu. Further devices will be put onto the site plan in a similar way starting with the detectors. Remember to include all areas of the building which are potentially vulnerable to threats. The PIR detectors will be installed in all rooms accessible from outside in which there are windows or doors. Due to the unstable temperature environment, it is advisable to install dual technology detectors in the garage, kitchen and living room. In this case, these will be devices with infrared and microwave sensors. The living room and boiler room will be additionally protected with carbon monoxide detectors. Sleeping gas detectors will also be installed in the living room and bedrooms. Additionally, it is good to install smoke detectors in the living room, garage, boiler room and kitchen. Important note, 
The CONFX program has a special feature that constantly checks the prepared plan for correctness. Therefore, if the device chosen by you cannot be added, the configurator will display a message to inform you what element is missing so that it can be connected to the system being created. You must then complete the drawing by putting the indicated product onto it and continue with the designing of the system. So, add the expansion modules to get the right numbers of additional zones. Now you can return to adding further detectors. Additionally, it is a good idea to install smoke detectors in the living room, garage, boiler room and kitchen. You should not forget about the water flood detectors which will be placed in the kitchen, bathrooms, toilet and boiler room. As part of the perimeter protection, magnetic detectors will be used in order to secure all windows, doors and garage doors. Additionally, the perimeter protection will include dual technology Opal Plus detectors. To adjust the detector range ideally to the needs required, each detector will be mounted on an angle bracket from the bracket C set. To sum up, we have 56 detectors deployed in our premises. Now add the INT RXS expander to enable the system to be operated by using key fobs. Select from the list the T4 key fob model you are interested in and determine how many key fobs you want to use. Then add sirens to the system. The SPW150 and SPW220R indoor siren and the SP4003 outdoor siren. Important note, the CONFX configurator special feature is constantly checking the prepared plan for correctness. The control panel power supply efficiency is exceeded now, so there is a need to add a new power supply unit. You can choose the APS412 model. The alarm system must also include devices enabling communication and notification. In our case, these are the ETHM1 Plus and GSM X modules. The GSM module requires the SIM card of any operator. The modules added to the system should be installed in an enclosure. Select the appropriate one from the list of devices and place it on your project. Then double click on the point representing it. This will open a window showing the interior of the enclosure. Place the previously selected modules into it. Important note. The control panel is required to be powered up by a transformer. Such a device is not delivered with the enclosure nor the control panel, so you have to buy it separately. If it is necessary to use another enclosure, proceed in the same way. Now let's add keypads to the system. Select the touchscreen keypads, INT TSG, INT TSH, and INT-TSI. Having put the selected devices onto the drawing, you can check their current balance. 
In the side menu, current balance selection will find detailed information on the current consumption of the entire system and its individual components. At the same place, you can also define how much time your system should run on battery power. The configurator will automatically calculate what battery capacity is needed so that the system can operate for the time specified. During the design process, the setup manager creates a base of commercial information about the devices used to build your system. In the side menu, System Cost section, select the Cost Estimate button. The window that will be displayed provides detailed information on the prices of individual devices and their summaries. The values correspond to the manufacturer's price list. You can also include in the estimate the cost of additional elements such as cabling, batteries, installation materials including wall plugs, screws, strips, plaster, as well as labor or the first service inspection. You can save and also print the prepared quotation directly from the configurator. Both the entire documentation and its selected elements. In addition, a handy Conifex tool is the specially prepared help files that you can use at every stage of the work. They make navigation through the setup manager easier and provide tips on how to make the best use of its capabilities. That's all we wanted to tell you about designing the alarm system of the Conifex program. And that's all for now in this episode. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next eAcademy episodes. See you soon.